Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Historic Set Maximum Crisis Hello there. And so in this series, we're going to be talking about historic sets. What are historic sets? Historic sets are sets in Yu-Gi-Oh! that have released cards that have had an impact of the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! and introduced cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! that have been quite iconic. And so, let's talk about this set. Released on May the 4th, 2017, introduced the most powerful hand trap known to Yu-Gi-Oh! history, Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Indeed, Ash Blossom introduced in this set has made Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Both in TCG and OCG, this is a hand trap that, since release, has been in every single competitive scene. Facts. So since 2017, this card has not left the competitive scene. It has always been useful, always been impactful, and always been part of the competitive scene. There are times when this card leaves the scene, but in general, it's been a stopgap and a card that's been also useful. And another card that we introduced in this set was Supreme King Gate and Phantom Phantasm Spiral. Indeed, that is the case. Okay, let us move on to the next things that are iconic about the set. And so the value card of this set is Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Indeed, as of the year of uh, this set, this was the only value card of the set at this time. And the support update was we, at this time of a power level, we were deep into, we were into early link format. Um, and so uh, we had the support update for Spirals, the Spirals would have been released the year before 2016 around there somewhere what around this time we had sub terra as well also known as the best flip de uh, flip deck of all time as coincidence i think not we can consider this the best flip deck of all time simply because it had the most representation as a flip deck shadows doesn't count because it doesn't really do flip things i can't deny that it's just the truth at this point so Subterra, we can say, is the best flip deck of all time. And then we have Zephra um, as well. Known as the most diverse, uh, I would say the most diverse um, pendulum deck of all time. You know, with so many archetypes into it that's had a success in OCG, unfortunately. But in TCG, it was an absolute failure. We have to Draco, And we can say to Draco really is, you know, the best anti-meta deck of all time. And I've got a lot of worries for the rest of the meta. Indeed, I would say this is the case because since its inception, Two Draco has been in the competitive scene for quite a few many years. It has dominated, it has reigned supreme, and indeed, Two Draco, I can honestly say, is the best anti meta deck of all time. You are absolutely right. Indeed, that's the case. And let's go with the wild card that premiered in this set, which was set rotation. Indeed, at this time, the few a uh, few years back, we had terraforming was limited, and this was the premiere of set rotation, which was our an, our copy of um, terraforming, and it was at three at this point. This was a great wild card at the time, and this was a card again that did a lot of impact into the game. It soon, quickly, after a few, ba after a few uh, formats, was hit and limited to one. We had the Hidden Potential, which is an Ending Nightmare, and Tornado Dragon. Indeed, an Ending Nightmare was really good at the time, uh, was a really good card, and was definitely a Hidden Potential uh, Trap card, Continuous Trap, which is good for destroying Pendulum cards, for destroying those Floodgate cards. You got to remember, at this time, we, we didn't have a lot of cards that removed Floodgates. I believe we did we have i think cosmic was cosmic cyclone released at this time i believe cosmic cyclone was released around this time or maybe before this time god remember cosmic cyclone was a very new card into the game and so we had an ending nightmare whereas cosmic cyclone you could only destroy one face up 
a card by paying 1,000 and ending Nightmare, you could destroy two by paying 1,000. You know, it was once per chain. And anyway, we had Tornado Dragon. Tornado Dragon indeed was basically Twin Twister, but on legs, as on a monster. So it definitely had a lot of hidden potential for dealing with backroad decks. You got to remember at the time, um, the Nightmares weren't released. And so Tornado Dragon was a really good uh, card at this time, which could deal with a lot of backroad decks. Let's move on. And so we have our legacy support, Pendulum. Zodiac, Resonator, Digital Bug, DDD, Dark Contract, Performer Pal, Raid Raptor, and Predator Plant. Indeed, these at the time were the legacy support that was released for this set. And the only ones that had impact on our game, I think, were at the time, I believe, what people were interested in were Pendulum and Zodiac. Digital Bug just failed at release digital bug was just not good enough it was just a really crap archetype and just didn't do anything ddds just didn't do anything either so did dark contract performer pal was this was a time when performer pal was really hit was doing well was doing you know quite well but this was support that was just not good enough and this was support that in the pendulum a player base, no one was really interested in this performer pal support. Red Raptor was also pretty good with this uh, support, and Predator Plant was a little bit lacking here in terms of support. It wasn't seen as really good at this point in time. So, indeed, that is the case. And we have Maximum Crisis, we got to remember at this point in time, was this was a set that made history because of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. You have True Draco, which again had me and Tudru Draco had dominance as well on our competitive scene as this was best wave of support that True Draco has had to this pre until to this day. Very good support making True Draco become the best anti-meta deck of all time indeed. It was Maximum Crisis that introduced the uh, True Draco truly to the competitive scene. And indeed that is the case. Right, let's move on. And so let's grade this set. And so this set, if we grade it for everything and for its time, it would be graded as A. As for amazingly beautiful. Exactly, A as in it's really, it was a really good set for its time. It premiered one of the most, pow the, the most powerful hand trap of all time, the most iconic hand trap of all time, which has been reprinted so many times and you know, last year in 2023, Ash Blossom was in the rarity collection and it has a quarter century printing. And as of the making of this video, quarter century Ash is going for around 200 quid for one copy indeed. But Ash Blossom has every single rarity of it now and is accessible to everyone. And so what do I think about this set? This is a good set and definitely for anyone who has, who is a collector or anyone who likes to collect Yu-Gi-Oh! says this is a set that is very historic and is, has a lot of history into it, into the game. As we have a premiere of the best anti-meta deck of all time, which is True Draco. As True Draco currently and still to this day holds the longest record for being in the competitive scene for the longest time. Right, as an anti meta deck, that's amazing. We also have the premiere as well of uh, Sub Terror as well. This is an archetype that entered the competitive scene as a flip deck, and to this day, this is the best flip deck of all time in Yu Gi Oh! No other flip deck in Yu Gi Oh!'s history has achieved this level of results. It's been absolutely insane. Subterra is the best flip deck of all time and definitely something to be considered, right? We also have um, the spiral, su uh, spiral support here that was put here as well. Again, Spiral, extremely iconic. And Spiral, you got to remember as well, with the support of Spiral as well, uh, it was the first time that we had multiple hand traps. Spiral introduced the concept of having multiple hand traps in our deck. I think at the time, obviously, before Spiral's uh, inclusion into the deck, the power ceiling of decks was consistency, was king, but we didn't have a lot of one-card combos. 
essentially one count combos were there but it wasn't really thought of as a strategy it wasn't thought of as a building a platform it wasn't really there but it was spiral that introduced this concept for players in both tcg and ocg and about introducing more hand traps into your deck playing a deck that had four to four, uh you know maybe nine 12 hand traps he got and definitely so in terms of history maximum crisis is there introducing um spirals that introduced a f uh, 12 card hand trap into our decks definitely that was very exciting we have Subterra introduced into the game, into the competitive scene as the best flip deck in, of all time in Yu-Gi-Oh! And we also have Ash Blossom introduced into our game as, as it is considered the best hand trap of all time in Yu-Gi-Oh! And then we also introduced as well True Draco, which is again considered the best anti-meta deck of all time. The reason why I'm saying this is that these are decks that have had results. They have had results since release and have stayed in the meta scene for this long. Results is why they're considered the best. And that's all I've got to say about this. And so tune in next time as we'll talk about more historic sets in Yu-Gi-Oh! And hopefully you'll enjoy it. Hope to see you soon. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.